What's up losers, KD3 here. Today I'm gonna to be giving you some tips for completing all of the Thieves' Den challenges. Let's get right into it. To complete some of the more tedious challenges, you're gonna to need to get your hands on a lot of money and EXP to level up. How can we do that, you ask? It's actually pretty easy. Ryuji's your man to take you to the promised land. If you get his confidant to rank seven, you unlock his ability Instant Kill, which allows you to defeat weak enough shadows instantly. People that have played the original Persona 5 may remember this ability hurting a lot more than it helped, but in Royal, it's one of the best abilities in the game now that you get money exp and personas from the enemy this means that you can save tons of time instant killing enemies instead of wasting hours away from grinding you can tell which enemies can be instant killed by using third eye any enemy highlighted in green can be instant killed any money and exp increases from other abilities still apply as well we can't talk about ryuji's instant kill ability without talking about chihaya as a whole her confidant is a little frustrating to start but everything you gain from doing so makes it worth it her fortune readings make the game so much easier. She can do all sorts of things like help you boost your confidant ranks, boost how much money you earn, but the absolute best thing that Chihaya can do is trigger fusion alarms instantly and increase the odds of them happening. Combine this with Ryuji's instant kill and it just breaks the entire game. These are the confidants that you should absolutely prioritize if you're playing this game, especially if you're going to complete the Thieves' Den challenges. We're not done talking about confidants. Time is of the essence when dealing with school life in Persona 5 Royal. Luckily for us, there's someone who can help us do the absolute most with the time we have. If you rank up Kawakami's confidant, since she's your teacher, you can goof off in class to get more time for reading books, studying, or making tools. The best part of her confidant that makes her an absolute must max is that she can give you a special massage that allows you to go out in the evening after exploring the metaverse, which is normally not possible. I shouldn't have to explain how much of a godsend that is. Ace those tests. Charm isn't the only thing that you get for doing well on your school tests. You also get points boosts for spending time with your confidants that are associated with your school, helping you level them up faster. The downside of these tests are that even if you get every answer correct, you won't get the highest score possible if your knowledge stat is not high enough. So make sure you study a lot, especially when it's raining for bonus points. Answer the questions in class properly. Get the use guild to find the answers if you don't know them. Look for the crossword puzzles in Laban to increase your knowledge without passing up time. Use the bathroom to check how close you are to ranking up your social stats if you're curious. There's absolutely no way you'll be able to complete the Thieves' Den 100% if you don't max out Maruki's confidant, since you need to do so in order to unlock the third semester. He sticks around until November, so make sure to hang out with him as much as you can. And make sure your personas have matching confidants with each person I mentioned in this video so that you save as much time as possible. If you want to know what the best things are to say to them, there's online guides everywhere, so just use one of those. This next method saves you so much time that I have no clue if this was even intended by the developer or not. I'll be lying to you guys if I said that it didn't kind of feel like I was cheating. But if you don't have a ton of time on your hands or you'd prefer to get this done ASAP, you're going to want to know about this one. Thieves Den challenge progress is not actually tied to your save data. What exactly does this mean? Well, let's say that you decided to friend zone a girl while you were playing, but then for some reason your game shut off which caused you to lose your progress. Then let's say you decided to romance the girl instead for some reason. Well, if you check the Thieves Den, it will register that you friend zoned and romance that girl since your progress is not tied to the save data. This means that you can abuse the save system to complete tasks that would normally take way longer if you did them normally. You could complete the challenge for friend zoning and romancing every girl in one playthrough instead of doing a second one. Let's look at another challenge we can exploit with this method, the gifting master challenge. You need to give away 10 gifts when spending time with confidants. This one can be annoying simply because it only works under two conditions. The confidant is either not going to rank up or it's already ranked 10 which means you have to waste 10 days doing this. Using this method, we can save those 10 days by giving the same person the same gift 10 times. Just save, give them the gift, reload the save, and then do it again. Repeat it till it's complete, then reload the save again to get your time back. You can do this with anything that needs to be done a certain amount of times. You can't finish the book or video game challenge by doing this, but you can get the time from reading those books or playing the games back if you feel like it could have been better spent somewhere else with no consequences. 
consequences. That concludes this video. If you need help with anything else related to this game, check out my Persona 5 Royal Guide playlist. I cover a whole lot of different topics related to this game, so I've probably got what you need in there. Make sure you check that out and make sure you subscribe to my channel for future uploads. I upload every Saturday. Later, losers.